morning class 3 welcome back to your communication class this is your communication set in today's video we are going to discuss lesson number 12 so before uh, we proceed with our lesson please open your book at page number 41 today's lesson is the sun the moon and the stars you know long ago we were family dynast with the sun, the moon and the stars. Now a proper time has come to study them properly. Now in the yellow portion, please look at all these are heavenly bodies that exist in the universe. So the sun, the moon and the stars, all of them can be found in heaven. And they are not earthly bodies. You know earthly bodies, we human beings, other animals, trees. Those things which live or which can be found in earth, on earth, living on earth, can be called earthly bodies. But heavenly bodies are those that are found on heaven, like stars, heavens and the stars, the sun, the moon and the stars. And the place where they exist is called the universe. Now, there has been a conversation uh, set between a teacher and a student. The teacher is asking. What is the sun made of? The student is responding. The sun is made of hot gases. So, in the first line, what is the material that constructs the sun? Actually, the construction of sun is made by hot gases. The sun is a thing which rises in the east and sets in the west is something which is made of hot gases. Now, second thing, you hot gases. Take it very bully. In the second thing, our sunlight body. Okay. How far is the sun from the? Akun. The now the teacher is asking about the distance that is found between the earth and the sun. The sun is very far from the earth. Absolutely, because if the sun were not very far from the earth, we all have burnt alive. Because the sun, the temperature of sun is so excessive that we human beings cannot tolerate it. What does the sun give us? We all know the sun gives us light and heat. So light and heat which helps us to survive, which helps us grow our crops is given by sun. When is the sun hottest? The sun is the hottest at noon. So it is noon, 1 pm or 2 pm, when the sunlight is at its peak. Okay. Now, what is the moon? The moon is a satellite of the earth. Do you know what is the meaning of satellite? At the end of the story, we will know about the meaning of the word satellite. So what is the moon in one sentence? In a single sentence, you can say the moon can be called a satellite which is a found moving around the earth which is bigger the sun or the moon the sun is bigger than the moon we can say that the sun is bigger than the moon is why is there no life on the moon now this is a very intelligent question why no life can be found on moon because life is possible in a planet where, where there is uh, sufficient uh, water and oxygen or other uh, equipments that we need to survive. But on moon, we cannot find any kind of survival equipments. Light, air or water cannot be found on moon. So there is no uh, life on moon because there is no air and water on it. So there is no life on the moon. Now what is a star? A star is a fixed heavenly body which has its own life. So, this, uh, the star is a heavenly body. At the beginning of the text, I have taught you what is a heavenly body. universe They are called heavenly body. A heavenly body is opposite to the earthly body. The body is the earth planet. Even a star will have a fixed heavenly body. Even a big a star has light of its own. At the star, it will be a Teacher, how many stars are there in the sky? There are countless stars in the sky. That means the stars existing in the universe cannot be counted by us. star will count They are countless. Okay, 
What is the sun made of? The sun is made of hot gases. How far is the sun from the earth? The sun is very far from the earth. What does the sun give us? The sun gives us light and heat. When is the sun hottest? The sun is the hottest at noon. What is the moon? The moon is a satellite of the earth. Which is bigger, the sun or the moon? The sun is bigger than the moon. Why is there no life on the moon? There is no air and water on it, so there is no life on the moon. What is a star? A star is a fixed heavenly body which has its own light. How many stars are there in the sky? There are countless stars in the sky. The Holy Bible, that total text, completely gives us a glimpse of the universe. It takes a very universe, a pollution, a clean and cut picture. I saw the part. It's a star, a comet, a sun, a moon. What is Earth? Okay. The part is a different, difficult words analysis. The whole your orange color box. It's one of the most difficult words there are. Which you are supposed to not to know it. It's not that you don't know it. So you know, we can easily analyze it. Now first is satellite. What is satellite? An artificial body placed in orbit around the earth. Now what is artificial? Artificial means you can say which is not original. That is uh, artificial or which is man-made. Okay. Now countless. Countless means which we cannot count. Uh, can we count sugar? So sugar is countless. Can we count stars? No. But we can count boys, girls, trees. So stars are countless because we cannot count them. And heavenly, heavenly means holy. Holy that means uh, which is uh, very pure. And heavenly, uh, another uh, analysis of heavenly can be said that which is not earthly, which can be found in universe is called heavenly. Larger than this, you will see that I have to go to Korea level. Difficult word to copy the literature. So okay children, that's all for today. Thank you.